this way. Oh. Nope, let's go this way. Come here. <laughs> Come on. Let's walk. I'm so sick of these stupid dogs. You see me every daggum day. Good boy, Kylo. Good boy. Every day, these stupid dogs. We're gonna take the short route on the walk today. So let's go back this way. Weather's not too bad. Got a overcast, so it ain't scorching hot just yet to be noon. Just doing a little more test footage of the Vuz XR. 360 camera 360 VR experience with this camera it's got its challenges from a software standpoint but the hardware is really nice if you're rolling with iOS you're gonna get a better experience the Android app mm, can be hit or miss it has a desktop app um, I believe it's Windows only. Maybe not. It may be on I on a uh, Mac OS too. But the uh, desktop app works really good, and you can easily integrate this footage into Premiere Pro, Final Cut, or whatever video editor you're using. Nope. Come on, dude. Come on. You're not gonna poop in their yard. You go over here and poop. It has a uh, built-in stabilizer feature inside of their desktop app. And um, I can't say that I've had success trying to do it on mobile. I can't even remember if it's on mobile, but the desktop app does a really good job stabilizing the footage. Come on, keep walking. You don't pull me, dude. You go where I go. All right, we'll take a poop break just for a second. Poop break is good to go, done, what have you. We're gonna continue on. Um, yeah, you can see I'm holding my phone here so I can try to take a look at what's going on with the recording. I could see if it's recording based on the screen or I can just watch the little indicator on the front of this camera. It's got a little blinking light. Um, the only drawback is if you're filming in 4K at 60 frames per second, you can't get a video preview on your, um, on your phone. You have to do 30 frames per second or lower and uh, it'll work just fine. But once you get up into those higher frame rates, it will not do the wireless transmission to give you the preview look on the uh, smartphone. But as neither here nor there, since it's 360, you can move it all around and post and whatnot. So I should still be able to work it out and get it stabilized. But right now we're going to go back to the house. Come on. Just a short walk. What are you doing? Come on. It has a microphone on it. 
I will give you a comparison of the audio because currently I have a lavalier mic connected to my shirt and I'm recording externally but the internal mic on this camera I'm pretty sure it ain't the best but still be something that you can work with uh, somebody's interrupting me awesome yo no this isn't a GoPro this is a 360 camera yeah. So you, you, is it good for like sports and stuff? Uh, it depends because it gives you a, a full 360 view about like if you were in VR. Uh, now, it depends on what you're trying to shoot in sports, what you're trying to do with it. It's hard to do it with a phone, man. Oh no, this, I wouldn't recommend this for that. Okay, okay. It'd be a lot easier if you're just trying to follow somebody to use your phone or use a DSLR. Appreciate it, man. Now the GoPro is still, the GoPro is smaller, yeah. but you won't get as good a picture because it's going to be too wide. What you recommend? Your phone is better. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. All right, now. Take care. All right. Well, he had a legitimate question, so that interruption was okay. Y'all yeah, said y'all want me to vlog more. Now you have it. <laughs> but yeah getting back to the specs of this thing it it runs really 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 well for the most part um now that it's had its firmware updates the firmware updates really helped because it was truly hit or miss when i first started testing this thing out hey what's going on brother how you doing all right when i first started testing this thing out the firmware was constantly making the, the, the camera just cut off. You'd be in the middle of recording and it just stops. No warning, nothing, just stops. Um, then I think I got it to where it would record maybe 60 seconds at a time and then just stop. But I haven't seen that problem since then. But I do like the iOS version a lot better. Uh, the capabilities in there where you can do the little 3D small world animation and some keyframing animation that you can do inside of the iOS version is leaps and bounds ahead of Android. And the folks at Vuz and um, the folks at Vuz, they, they know <laughs> that the iOS version is better and there are challenges with the Android. They own up to that. And again, I'm just hand holding this camera. It's bouncing around while I walk and try to hold the dog leash. It's definitely gonna need stabilization, but I have faith in it. It's gonna do a decent job, especially since I have a nice computer. All right, that is it. We are now back to the house. I'm gonna sit this down now. I got a little tripod mount for it. Thank y'all for watching. Kylo, thanks y'all. We're gonna go ahead and go in the house, call this a day, and uh, get back to doing some other stuff. Y'all take it easy.